Okay, the purpose of this video is to convey a message of how the importance of a properly wired receptacle in your house or place of business in order for you to use your computer. Um, the reason why I'm doing this video is to give people information and also a little personal experience that I went through with improper wired receptacles. Okay, what you see here is this convenience receptacle that I've made. And before I even took this video or making a video right now, I had to do a little kind of a reversing of the polarity inside the electrical outlet to kind of demonstrate a point that is commonly found in most households and places of business across the country. And that is improperly wired and grounded receptacles. How does this pertain to computers? Well, it pertains a lot to it. If your house is not properly wired and grounded, bad things can happen to your computer. In case of mine, this was back in the 90s when I had a computer. It was like my second or third computer. I'm not really sure, but it was it was a computer that we had upgraded from Windows to like 95, I think. And um, at the time, the house, the wiring wasn't, up to up the code or wasn't um, properly wired at the outlet so I was using the computer you know just messing around with it next thing you know I hear something go pop the system shut down next thing you know there was this plume of smoke that came from the case excuse me come to find out that I had damaged and actually destroyed a sound card which at the time was very expensive you know sound cards weren't as integrated into the system like they are now. You had to purchase them separately if you want to sound for your computer. It was a sound blaster card, no less. So, you know, back in the 90s, you know, things were expensive then, like how they are now. But, like I said, they didn't start integrating them until years down the road. Well, I had damaged that, and I had blew out maybe the power supply, I'm assuming. But it was mostly found that the, the damage was contained to the sound card, where the component was still smoldering after that incident. So at that point, that prompted me to have the outlets to be properly wired and grounded or have the computer plugged into a properly grounded and wired outlet so that situation would not happen again. So that's kind of like a personal experience that I've experienced when dealing with computers and electronics. And also electronics are sensitive to improperly wired and grounded outlets. And especially home theaters. These um, home theater receivers, these uh, amplifiers, these battery backups are so sensitive that they need properly need a proper grounded and proper wired receptacle that's coming from the service panel up to your outlet that you're plugging in your device in. So it's important if you see this and what you see here is to the far left is an amber or orange light and to the middle of it is a green light. And according to this uh, receptacle tester, which you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's or any hardware store that sells um, or even some electrical supply stores may have these testers available. Uh, the, the prices vary depending where you go and the availability in stock is is where you live at. Um, it's a good thing to, to buy and invest in because your computer is your investment to some. Others like it just to play around in, but most people keep all the information and do everything with their computer from running their home or small business to uh, working from home if they can't be in the office 24-7 or at the office every day of the week. So your computer is your backbone. Without it, you can't survive. I mean, some people can, but for those that are constantly dependent on the technology, cannot survive it or, or function without it. So this is why this little device is very important to have with you. If you own a home, if you recently purchased a home, or if you're renting an apartment or a space in an office building where you want to start plugging in your components and you find out, okay, the outlets are not wired correctly, well, what you're going to have to do is get an electrician who's certified and is licensed and bonded to properly uh, reverse back the electrical outlets from this hot and neutral based on this receptacle tester, which is shown by this amber light to the far 
left of the thing and in the green light that's in the middle of the tester. If this was properly wired, this amber light should go away and this light will, stay, will remain on and this light here, which was which is green, should also be lit. This should stay off because it's been, if if the uh, electrician did what they supposed to do, it should go to, to two greens and this one should be left um, completely off. If you have this type of uh, receptacle tester, I mean, the testers may vary depending which one you get, but it should read correct once, once the electrician has made the adjustments to your electrical outlet. And another way you can test it, which I might have to put the camera down and uh, show you how, how it's done. Let me just go grab my multimeter and I will be right back. I apologize folks for that. I just wanted to go run and grab my multimeter. So just bear with me for a moment while I set this up. Okay, now I have this multimeter which is a Fluke um, 23 series two multimeter. And if you want to test your outlet if you don't happen to have a receptacle tester like what you see here, you can also use a multimeter to test for polarity. So what you do is you, you hook up your, your connects, your tester um, pointers to the multimeter as you've seen here, and you just turn it on, wait till the meter comes on, and it should go to zero. And you want to set this on a multimeter to volt AC because your outlets that are wired in your house are wired for AC use only. Um, you should not have anything direct current in your household, at least unless you're using solar panel or solar power, then that's when you would use DC. But your power that's coming in from the power company is usually AC. So, and your outlet should be wired at 100 and 20 volt AC at 15 amps or some cases 20 amps if you have a a brand circuit which most older homes do and that's why it's important to have one of these if you rent an apartment that's built um, I'm trying to get this receptacle tester out of here I'm gonna have to leave it in here I'm just gonna show you how to test for polarity using a multimeter so you, you come to your outlet and you use one of the probes to test what you want to do is test for the hot side. So you put your multimeter here since it is reverse and then you touch either the middle pin or the screw here which is ground and it should read about 120 volts on the multimeter which you as you can see here in the um, on this video and this should tell you okay this outlet is reversed the hot and neutral which is confirmed by this mo by this receptacle tester is reverse and since this box and the um, the cover plate is metal and the screw is also metal this also acts as a ground this is why grounding is important for safety features say if you get a shortage or something goes wrong in your electrical wiring this ground acts as a safety feature to send back or to return the overcurrent or undercurrent, whatever the, the case may be, back to back to earth ground or back to ground in your box. And if you have no ground, well, bad things can happen. So it's important to have, like I said, a properly grounded receptacle in your household so that you have some path of resistance back to ground. If you don't have it, you're going to have problems. And this is when you have to call in an electrician, somebody who's certified, licensed to evaluate your electrical system and properly make the repairs. So I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to properly disconnect, excuse me, um, you know, purposely disconnect the ground just to show you why on a receptacle tester you would say, okay, it's an open ground. What do I do? What do I do? And what does a multimeter tell me? 
I'm going to show you that in just a moment. So I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to come back with that shortly. Stay tuned.